Okay. It is his mom and her talking. And so I'm standing like right over here to the side. I, you know, his mom hugged me, whatever. It's like, hey. And he's just kind of sitting there like smiling, like, whoa, like what the world? Like kind of, I don't know if he was laughing because he thought it was cute or funny, whatever. But then he went and put like his arms around his mom and then he just kept smiling. I was like, is he really smiling this chick's face in front of my face and I'm his girlfriend? I stormed on that. Like, I, I didn't give her a reaction or anything, but I turned around and then I walked on off. And as I was walking out the store, I started bawling my eyes out. I was trying. What's going on? It's your girl Kyra here, interpreter of African American history and culture, motivational and spiritual speaker. Now I am back with another video, but before you do anything else, click off or change it to something else, please don't do that. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please hit that subscribe button down below and feel free to share this video, y'all. Now today on the When She Speak Wednesday segment, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Now you all know I've been telling my little story for the past couple weeks. And this is going to wrap it up. This is part three. Now the last final part is gonna be very different. It's not gonna be me talking about these busters. <laughs> it's not gonna be me talking about these busters, you know, whatever. But um, the last part, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's gonna be pretty nice, actually. Uh, my birthday is coming up really soon. My birthday is next month, oh my gosh. Some of you all actually said you wanted to send me a gift or whatever, so. I'm going to like link my cash app or whatever down below, but that's just really sweet. Like you don't have to do that at all. I'm not looking for that. I just love uh, giving you all feedback and I love the messages and stuff that I receive, the comments. I love, I truly love the people who actually watch my channel. And it's a genuine thing because I can tell when you all are actually giving me really good sound advice. And trust me when I say I'm taking it. <laughs> But um, yeah, so last week you all heard me talk about part two of the relationship that I entered towards the end of my college uh, career <laughs> and leading into me graduating college. But um, that's where we're actually gonna pick up at. We're gonna pick up right where I last left off when I said I gave in and I did. And every time I just say this statement, I still get a chill. Like something comes over me, something comes over my body. And, mm, but there's nothing I can do about it now. You know, I've um, somewhat made peace with it. You know, like I said, me being on a celibacy journey, it's very different, you know, because I'm letting God really, really help me find the man who's supposed to align with what he has for me in my life, you know. But, so after, you know, I gave in and all that. Like I said, at the end of the other video, things start to take a little turn. Well, so we're in December right now. And you know, Christmas time was coming up and we were supposed to go down to the coast to uh, visit some loved ones and stuff of his, whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. Didn't get a good vibe. Like it seemed, I don't think that his mother ever really cared for me. And I couldn't understand why, cause you know the thing, funny thing is his grandmother really liked me, but I I don't know. It just was always an off-putting type of energy. I, I I didn't understand. I didn't get it. But anyway, um, so yeah, we get ready to exchange gifts and all that good stuff. And next thing you know, okay, um, I was trying my best to be calm and cool and. When we get ready to leave and come back, cause y'all, I'm going to any of the details about the trip. We get ready to leave and come back. It just felt weird. And in fact, those first few months are kind of a blur. But I can tell you this, it was peaceful somewhat in the relationship, but then around March, woo! I believe his folks had came back for spring break. But there was something that had been like harboring inside of me and in my mind for those last few months, his ex. I don't know why, but I honestly believe it was God's intuition that he gave me. Because I kept feeling like something's not right. Like, you know, when you bring up a guy's ex or whatever, you're just wondering like, are they over them? I thought he really was. And so then next thing I know, um, this is March we're walking into now of 2018. And next thing I know, 
you know, it's spring break and his folks are home. And like I said, he worked for a little phone company up in uh, the store. We go in the store, and, you know, it's a grocery store or whatever, but there was a phone company in there. And we go in the store and I'm getting ready to get a prescription out of the store. And the next thing I know, his ex-mom walks up and they're just talking to have a nice, good old, fun little conversation. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Why is he talking to her? Like, I don't, you know. I was like, it was an older lady, so I'm like, I really could care less, but he just seemed too eager and happy to talk to her. And so, I think that she had told him that uh, her daughter was in the store or whatever. Whatever, okay. And then when he, I don't know how I found that out. I don't know if he said it or what, or if I spotted her, I'm not sure. But I wanted him to see her. I wanted him to introduced us like she's telling you this information for a reason or something i i just felt i actually felt good about it. he he up until that point like when we were still together he kept saying i can't believe that you did that why would you do that like i was trying to avoid the whole situation no 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 no, no. avoidance the uh, avoidance does nothing so then next thing i know end up running into her but no when I saw her again around the other side of the store, guess who I saw her talking to? His mother. Y'all, I was like, what, what the heck is going on today? <laughs> like, did they plan this? Like, uh, uh, seriously, I just was in this way. So check, get this picture in y'all heads. We are right there. It is his mom and her talking. And so I'm standing like right over here to the side. I, you know, his mom hugged me, whatever. It's like, hey. And he just kind of sitting there like smiling, like, whoa, like what the world? Like kind of, I don't know if he was laughing because he thought it was cute or funny, whatever. But then he went and put like his arms around his mom and then he just kept smiling. I was like, is he really smiling in this chick's face in front of my face and I'm his girlfriend? I stormed on that. Like I, I didn't give her a reaction or anything, but I turned around and then I walked on off. And as I was walking out the store, I started bawling my eyes out. I was trying to be, yeah, I'm usually very strong. I am so strong. I'm strong to the vault, to the fault, but it was it was so hard. Going out the store, I'm crying, I'm upset. I just whew. I couldn't believe that had happened. Anyway, we continued on in our relationship. We end up uh breaking up in I think April or maybe May. And so then after we broke up or whatever, y'all, it just, and this was the first breakup. I was still messing with him. I did not want to let him go. I really, truly loved him. Like six months in, I started loving him. And it just, it hit hard, like a ton of bricks, the fact that that stuff had unfolded. And he basically had he never could be straight with me, it felt like. Like he was like he wasn't in love with her anymore or anything. Keep in mind, y'all, he had been broken up with that girl for like four years. She had went on to get married. But I think never mind. I think she was still trying to check for him even when she was married. I don't know. But anyway, still messing with him, whatever. So one day I was like, I thought we was gonna talk. He was like, I really was, I really was working hard trying to win him back, y'all. And I put myself in a position with God. I know that jeopardized my spirituality in so many different ways, trying to keep him, but I was isolating the man who created me. Never do that. Never put the relationship you have with God on the back burner for no man. I don't care who he is. I don't care who he is. I don't care if he looks like freaking, um, what's the after name? If he's sitting here looking like Lamont Rucka and, and, and looking like uh, Chris Evans, I don't, I don't give a dang, okay? Don't put nobody before God, period. He'll fail every time. So anyway, okay. <laughs> so I was just sitting there and I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, maybe we're gonna be able to talk and work it out. So I got in the car with him. We were actually about to get ready to head to his house. And on the way to the house, apparently, I guess she had ended up meeting us at like four-way stop. She calls his number. Now let me, I'm, I'm, I'm overstepping myself. Let me backtrack for a second. Up until that point, cause we were still kind of messing with each other. I kept asking him, had he been having any contact with her? He told me no. He's laughing, sitting here, this and that. He told me no a couple more times. Guess what? 
He lied, of course, because the chief called the phone. Let me tell you how God worked. I worked for Enterprise at the time. There was a reservation that came through for a car at Enterprise, and it was from this female, and her number popped up. I was like, this cannot be the same person. When I was in the car with him, and then this number called, saying how she just saw him in traffic, and he answered the phone, I grabbed the phone, I was like, hello? And then the phone hung up. She did that, she saw me in the car. She did that because she saw me in the car. She wanted me to know that she was had she had been talking to my supposed guy that was trying to work stuff out with me and uh, also wanted to let me know that she had access to my so-called was trying to be man again. I saw that number and I said, oh. Now I was distraught, but the way he treated me was so cold. He just kept saying, like, I'm gonna take you on back. I'm gonna take, you gonna just take me on back to my car after the way that what, what you just did? Like, are you serious? He, like, I'm like, he couldn't be serious, right? Fast forward on from that, a couple months passed by and um, he called himself trying to win me back. It took a, a, a lot, you know, I was so hurt and distraught and I took him back. I took him back. He showed up on our actual anniversary date, which is in July. And he brought like my favorite candy or something, whatever this is and that. And y'all, when I tell you my mom, I know she was upset with me. Cause she's like, I know my daughter. I raised a strong feline. Like the female and my women are some strong women, y'all. They all have, when I tell you, if I could tell you some stories about the women in my family and the loss that they have suffered, I got some ride or die strong women in my family, like no other. And the fact that I was sitting here going this, this, and that of a man who couldn't even be solid with me, what the heck was I thinking? Anyway, I'm not even gonna go long until the second time when I took him back. We ended up breaking up just a few months after being back together. He broke up with me. No, I broke up with him the second time because I was like, I was over it. Like, you, you're, you're sitting here, you're not doing right by me. Hold up, I'm getting... I think that's what happened. No, 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 he broke up with me the second time. That's what happened. And uh, he broke up with me on my birthday. Yep, he broke up with me on my birthday. And uh, he didn't, like, it was my birthday. He did not call me. He didn't send me a long page text about how much he loved me, appreciated me. He wasn't on social media, so I wasn't worried about that. I mean, he wasn't on social media, so I didn't expect a shout or anything, but he just said, happy birthday, love. I didn't capitalize. Y'all, I'm actually starting to realize just really how much of a crapper I had been in. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I never would bash anybody. These are just the facts as to what happened in our relationship. You'll never hear me bash that man. Um, he was just being who he was, but who he was just was not for me. Um, fast forwarding from that, when we call ourselves trying to reconcile again, it just was not right. But for a minute there, we were good. We had fun. Um, we had went on a trip to Tulsa, Oklahoma. We had went to this, that, and the third, you know. We went to visit Transformation Church. That's what I was trying to do. I was like, oh, I want to go to Transformation Church so badly. And so then um, after that happened, you know, we kept trying, you know, we, we were actually broken up at the time. I'm, you know, trying to get a feel of each other and stuff again. It just was not working, y'all. Long story short, we go through the rest of 2019. Uh, he had very deep-seated trust issues. I have male friends. He never could appreciate the fact that I had male friends. Um, I was not going to stop dealing with people who had been riding for me for years just because I was in a relationship. But the thing is, I respected him now and his wishes. But most of my male friends, they, you know, they're gay. Why do you have a problem with me hanging out with my gay male friends? They would never want me in life. I never come to stand it. And those, y'all, when I tell you that my gay male friends are some of the ones who ride the hardest for me. I get emotional just thinking about them, especially one friend in particular. That's the one y'all saw me with in my vlog video. My uh, friend Marvell, shout out to Marvell. Y'all, he is 
a jewel. And you know something, I think that is crazy because as we fast forward through the rest of 2019, we, he came to my family's, we had a little, we wasn't even, even a get together. It was just my family linking up, you know, we pop fireworks and watch a couple movies and the countdown for New Year's Day. And he was over there and it seemed like it was a good feel. I was like, well, he's hanging out with my family. We walk into New Year's together. And then next thing I know, we broke up towards the middle or the end of January. After that, now this is 2020, okay? After we broke up at the beginning of this year, that was it for me. That was it for me. I blocked him. I think I blocked him, I don't know. Either way, I was done. And I didn't end up seeing him again until like one day in the store and I was trying to avoid him at all costs. But then I ended up having to see him because he, um, our, both of our best friends are married. And so, <laughs> Um, I was cool and stuff at the wedding and butterflies and stuff was all that, you know, like just in the air, love was in the air. And a lot of people kept thinking like, cause since they found out that we used to date and everything, it's like, well, y'all need to work that out and everything. No, we didn't. We no let, let, let what has died stay dead. That's what we need to do. And thank goodness I did. I, I for a split second there I was trying, but mm -mm, honey. His ways start showing. Even you know how when you already been through a situation with a man, and then his ways start showing even quicker than before when you try to give another chance. Like I gave you two chances before, but the third time you didn't even want let me warm up to you. In the first two days, you already showed your tail again. Thank you. I can go on by my way, and you can go yours. God bless you. But after the wedding. And we thought we was going to reconcile for a moment. I blocked them. Everything that had to do with them, I got rid of it. I have one piece of jewelry that's still left from him that I'm getting rid of. I just haven't had found the time to get rid of it. I don't want to give it to anybody in my family. I don't tell them what kind of bad auras and omens and stuff is on their thing. <laughs> so I'm trying to get rid of it. If anybody wants to buy a um, gold and white Michael Kors watch, Please let me know. Just say it in the comment section below, okay? I'm selling it for 50 bucks. It's a really nice watch. But um, my thing is I just, I want each of you ladies to understand that your number one relationship should be with God. Secondly, you should never let a man tell you what you can and cannot be. Three, put up with nothing. Now, relationships are gonna go through some things, but no, you don't have to put up with cheating, you don't have to put up with lying, you don't have to put up with a man being emotionally and, 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 and mentally abusive to you, you don't. And spiritually abusive. If he's trying to keep you from God, honey, he ain't ever gonna be no good, period. No. Nah. But, uh, you know, I think for me now, I'm just thinking about the man that God has for me is going to be something else because I done been through some of the worst of the worst type of situations, y'all. So that just must mean that my husband is going to be completely opposite. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on him. You know, I'm, I'm waiting on him. I'm getting myself together and all the things. Like, I'm doing my channel. And I thank God for my channel. It is an avenue for me to just keep going and keep growing and keep progressing. And I thank God for you all because... You know, without you, my channel would not be here. It would not exist. But I'm going to keep going. No matter how long it takes me to grow, no matter how long it takes for my channel to take off, I'm just going to keep going. Keep going and keep striding and keep thanking God. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all again so much for tuning into this video. And please make sure, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also, again, if you really want to buy that watch, y'all just let me know. But also remember <laughs> what I always say, and I say it best. Remember to always stay up and to also stay blessed. Thank y'all very much. Y'all have a good day. <laughs>